Today we're talking about class golf airspace, also known as uncontrolled airspace and the different altitudes it extends to. You'll know you're in class golf airspace because you'll have someone cutting you off in the pattern, not making any calls. Class golf basically is anywhere that's not depicted as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, or Echo. There's no control tower, no ATC service, and no specific clearance to enter it. You're just responsible for maintaining your own separation and weather minimum. So you don't even need a radio to operate in here. But the height of class golf changes depending on where you're at in the country and the different airspace that's structured around it. And there are four main altitudes that you need to know when it comes to class golf. First, class golf exists even when it's not depicted. It generally goes from the surface up to but not including 1200 AGL where echo starts. Then echo goes up to but not including 18,000 where alpha starts. Dashed magenta lines around an airport means there's no golf airspace there. It's echo from the surface all the way up to but not including 18,000 feet. Second, in areas where you see the faded magenta, Class Golf goes all the way up to, but not including 700 AGL. Then Echo starts at 700, goes all the way up to 18,000, and then Alpha. And then third, there's no depiction around an airport. That means Class Golf starts at the surface, it goes up to, but not including 1,200 AGL. Then Echo starts at 1,200 AGL, goes all the way up to, but not including 18,000, where Alpha starts. And then the last one, a lot of people miss this on their check ride. It's a trick question, some people don't study this. Golf starting at 14,500, you can see this by the blue vignette around airspace. So golf goes from the surface all the way up to, but not including 14,500, and then it starts at echo. That goes all the way up to, but not including 18,000, and then alpha starts.